All right, what is up, Tigers? Today is a Friday, which means you are, you already know that we are back with another Friday morning show. As always, my name is Lincoln. Today we got Sam, we have Caleb by the TriCaster, and we have Kyler doing his own thing in the corner because he wants to feel included. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We love you, Kyler. All right, um, so first yeah. up, we got a video of Mr. Ackerson in an interview. Okay, what's up, Tigers? Um, I'm sure that someone on the show already introduced this, but just in case, I'm interviewing Mr. Ackerson. How was life in Spain? Life was great in Spain. In fact, this morning I woke up, it was dark, it's drizzly. I'm getting up at like six o'clock in the morning. That didn't happen in Spain. Really? Yeah. That sounds very pleasant. School, um, starts, uh, school starts at 9 a.m., gets out at 4 p.m. Uh, it is like, Right now it's like 75 degrees and where I was and it's really good weather. What sparks your interest to go like work in Spain? Uh, my wife is a Spanish speaker and she majored in Spanish and education in school and so we've been wanting to do this for a while. We were in Barcelona, which is in Catalonia, which is like uh, uh, north east Spain. Um, Catalonians are like super proud people. Uh, they actually speak Catalan and Spanish. Catalan is like their first language, then Spanish. Um, they are, they're pretty independent. In fact, some people there want to break away from the rest of Spain. Uh, they love the real football. Um, if you mention football, they're only thinking soccer, that's it. If you say, actually, if you say, if I said soccer, uh, yeah, I would probably take some stuff about that from students. All right, um, what is one key difference between Spain and USA, besides the weather? You already mentioned the weather. Yeah, um, they are like so social, and they're also like very touchy, <laughs> uh, which I'm not really, and Americans aren't just me reaching over, it was yeah. kind of hard, uh, but they're very like touchy, and they like, like to do things together. Uh, they're always at cafes in the morning. Um, you could walk by a cafe in the morning and they would be either drinking like coffee like you'd expect or maybe some other drink which you wouldn't expect in the morning. So that's kind of funny. Huh. Okay, I think I get you. I think I get the point. Yeah. Um, all right, just spitballing off that. What's the one uh, similarity between Spain and USA? Um, well, the students I was teaching, we were. I was teaching in English, but they were from everywhere like Turkey, uh, Belgium, Russia, Ukraine, uh, Israel, all over the place. And like, the just the cool thing I found about students is they're very open-minded generally and they're very cool people in general and that is happens here and that happens there, so. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, what did you like most about teaching? Um, I was at like this elite private school actually, which is just a kind of interesting and a little bit different experience. Like I said, students are oftentimes students. It doesn't really matter uh, where they're from or what, how much wealth they have. Um, but that was quite an interesting thing to work at a place where they ran it like as a, partially a school and partially a business. So just brought up some interesting things where they had to kind of sell their school more maybe than we are need to sell our school. Hmm, interesting. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot different than working at you know, Burling Sanderson Public High School? Yeah, it's somewhat different, yeah. Yeah. Oh, is there any traditions or habits that you picked up that you kind of brought back here? Um, you know, I in Barcelona, it's a big city. It's got like buses, trams, subway, trains. I could get anywhere without a car. And it's been such kind of a shock to move back to a place where kind of we leave our house and we get in the car. So we do try and like, walk to stores. We got some stores kind of nearby where we live. Um, but I, I kind of miss the mass transit. Also, I bought an electric scooter in Spain, which was just a lot of fun. You and bought one or you just yeah, rented like, one? I bought like an electric, like a stand-up electric really? scooter. Really? Yeah. That was yeah. sweet. I like riding those in Seattle. That was my number one uh, form of transportation to get to mass transit. What's one, like if someone you're very, very dear to asked you how your, how your trip was, what is like the funniest thing you're gonna tell them? I was trying to think of something funny. It's a lot of it is like these cultural differences you run into. Um, like they 
they claim to eat dinner at 10 p.m. and they just can't understand how you would eat dinner like at six. <laughs> it just makes no sense to them. They're like, don't you get hungry? Uh, so we kept on having these kind of funny cultural things, which is really cool when you're working with teenagers because they're much more like okay with laughing about the differences. It was really fun. Um, what else? Oh, uh, if you like peanut butter, like there is no peanut butter in Spain. What? We had to. I know. I know. Unreal. Oh. <laughs> we we'd find like a store that had like one jar of peanut butter, so you had to like sort of put together an American diet if you wanted to. They would. Their thing is they have bocadillo, which is like a sandwich they would eat at like 10:30 or 11. We had to have a break at that time because it was like the not lunch. It was like the mid-morning meal, and uh, so you'd, huh. you'd have like breakfast? a foil with like a kind of a sub inside. Huh. That would be like the Spanish thing to do. All right. Well, yeah, we'll leave you guys with that. Thanks so much for doing this interview. Yeah. I appreciate it. Um, yeah. See All you, right. Tigers. All right. Thank you. All right, thank you, Mr. Ackerson, for doing that uh, interview. That was like two or three months ago, so it's good that I finally made it onto the show. Um, it was a good video. Yeah, it was super good, right? <laughs> yeah. Next up, we got a movie, Guess the Movie. All right, um, normally I would lie and say that I got them all, but I can't hear it while the video is playing, so I guessed Rocky every single time and didn't get and any of them right. every single time. Yeah. Huge shout out to Girls Bowling. They're at State. They're competing at State. That is super awesome. Huge kudos and congrats to them. And we got sub-regionals wrestling today and tomorrow going on for two days. Wish them luck, and I hope they do great. We got um, basketball playoffs. Those are starting pretty soon. And we also got uh, districts for swim coming up pretty soon. And good luck to them. Yeah, and that's all we got, Tigers. So, yeah, make it a great weekend. Be safe. Be healthy. 